Billy, welcome to Cheltenham. We've literally just uh, turned up at the training ground and signed. Um, start off with, tell me a bit about how you, your move from crew came about. Uh, well, uh, Gary uh, gave me a call and um, showed his interest and um, he, w he really sold the club to me and, um, and said, you know what? What he was expecting to do this season, and how he how he expects to, uh, or is hoping to to go straight back up. And uh, yeah, I, I really wanted to buy into it. And um, he, like I said, he really sold the club to me. Yeah, and he's told you that, that regular first team football is there for you if you you know opportunity is there if you want to seize it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he said you know he's he's, he's given me this opportunity now. It's up to me to do the rest. Um, I've got to uh, you know I've got to come down here and, and fight for my place in the team and, and get into the team and. Uh, Hopefully, score some goals and make some goals, and uh, and do everything possible to uh, to get us back promoted. Yeah, the club you've come from obviously knows a thing or two about producing young players. Everyone knows the reputation crew have got. So, what's it like coming through the ranks there? I mean, what what do you think it makes it such a special youth system? Uh, it, it just it just t technically it just uh, it, you, you can really progress as a player technically. Um, they, from a young age, they get you doing all sorts um, and and try and. Uh, you know, develop every every side of your game, but definitely technically, that's what they uh, that's what the main focus is on. But you know, it, it's it's a great club for uh, bringing players through, which uh, they've proven they can do time and time again. So it's a, it's a great club in that yeah. sense. When you see the long list of players who have progressed and gone on to play at the top level, does that inspire you to, even though you've had to drop down now, yeah. to fire yourself back up the divisions? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, you know, I've seen you know a lot of my friends have uh, have come through the academy and have gone on to bigger and better things and. You know, playing playing with them is uh, you know you learn a lot, and um, you know if, if 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 they've done it, you know, even though I've had to drop down a couple of leagues, um, it doesn't mean to say that I can't one day reach the level that they've gone to. I mean, I certainly hope that I still can do. Um, it's just having that passion to do it, and I know that a club like Cheltenham, uh, with everyone he's brought in and, and the manager and management staff that he's got, is uh, is the right club to be at. Yeah. So what what are you expecting from the Vanarama National League? Um, I'm not a clue to be honest with you. Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a good, uh, not a surprise, but you know, it'll be good to, to to get training tomorrow and um, see what the standards like. I know it's going to be a good standard. It's going to be it's going to be difficult, but it's going to be challenging, and uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. I like a challenge. So uh, yeah. Yeah, the completely new group of lads. I don't know if you know any of the lads here already, but no. it's going to be a very new look squad. So, are you looking forward to just meeting everyone, getting settled in? With yeah, you? definitely. I've just literally just met a few of the lads, and they already seem like nice lads. You know, it's, I know I'm not the only one who's uh, who's come in, so I know I'm not you know the only new face. So, it'd be good to to, to meet the boys tomorrow and uh, and get training, and uh, especially in this weather. Yeah, are you, is this the first time you've been away from home? Um, you know, to. What do you think it's going to be like moving to a new town and you know focusing purely on your football here? Well, you know, um, I've always uh, my, my my family live literally about five minutes from from Crewe, so I've always been uh, staying at home. I've never moved away, but it's a lovely part of the country to move to. Uh, everybody's been telling me that, and I've, I have uh, visited Cheltenham, uh, and it, it's lovely. So, um, you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to moving here, and um, you know, it's great because that way, you know, you don't have any distractions and. You can just completely focus on your football, which I think, um, which I think will be good for me. I'm, I'm ready for a change now. Yeah, Mari Morgan Smith came in early in the, the summer, and Danny Wright's come in today. Um, looking at him today, you know he's a big lad. Is that the sort of player you, you quite like to play off, off the, a target man? Yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd say I'm quite. Uh, you know, I like to work off players and and like layoffs and things like that. I'm quite, you know, agile with my movement, and um, you know, the big players are always good to play with because they can hold the boy up, ball up, and then uh, you can you can work off them. So. The players like that are, you know, are, are perfect for me if I'm playing in behind or, or wherever the manager chooses to play me. Yeah, is there any part of you that's dreading the, the running or are you just looking forward to getting back into it now <laughs> after, after the break? Well, I, I've done a bit of running pre-season, um, not pre-season, you know, off-season, yeah. um, but you can never really, you know, prepare yourself properly, can you? Because uh, you can only push yourself so much on your own, so it'll be interesting <laughs> to see what tomorrow and uh, the rest of pre-season holds. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Billy. Thanks no a lot. problem.